Good evening ladies, I'm Jamie Miller and I'm here in my kitchen on Wednesday of Entree Week where I'm having a bit of an impromptu dinner with a couple of friends after which we are going to head over to my daughter's school for her kindergarten graduation ceremony. Oh, they grow so fast. But I am making tonight some salmon. And I've got a go-to recipe that I call sensational stuffed salmon because it is simple to put together, it tastes heavenly, and it looks very fancy on your plate. So in a word, it's sensational. So to start my stuffed salmon, we need to head on over to the stove and make the stuffing. So for the filling for our sensational salmon, I started with four slices of the Oscar Mayer fully cooked bacon and I chopped them up and I sauteed them in a little bit of olive oil just for a minute or two because they are already cooked just to crisp them up and to get a little bit of that bacony deliciousness into my pan where I am now cooking up some cremini mushrooms. So I took the bacon, just popped it into a bowl and now I've got a half cup of cremini mushrooms, also called baby bellas, in my pan. And I just want to saute these for about five minutes until all the water they release has evaporated and they start to turn a little bit golden brown. And as soon as these are done, I'm going to add them to my bacon and I'm going to head back on over to our counter where we can assemble our stuffed salmon. My bacon and mushrooms are in my bowl and I want to let them cool for a couple of minutes before I add my third and final ingredient to the stuffing, which is Philly chive onion cream cheese. Now tonight I'm using the one third less fat, but the regular is fine, it's going to be equally delicious. So I do want to let that cool just so it doesn't get too creamy and too runny. But while that's cooling, let's go ahead and make a crispy topping for the salmon that is going to be the perfect complement to that creamy filling. So I've started with some fresh French bread or any, you know, dense European style bread and I cut off the really hard crusty parts and just ground it up into breadcrumbs. So I used my mini processor and did it in a couple of batches. You could use a big processor or a blender, whatever you need, to make some nice fresh breadcrumbs. To that, I'm going to add just two things. I've got some melted butter. That's going to help us get a nice crispy crust in the oven. And then I've also got a little bit of chopped up fresh parsley. So this is going to be a nice fresh burst of flavor with all that savory goodness in the salmon and the stuffing. So those two things going into the breadcrumb mixture. I'm just going to toss that together. And then we are ready to put that cream cheese into our mushrooms and bacon and go ahead and stuff that salmon. So let's take, I've got a half cup of the chive and onion cream cheese going in to the mushroom mixture. And that is going to be so good. I love the chive and onion. It gives so much savory goodness. And I just want to mix that together really, really well. And then we can go ahead and I'll show you how to cut our salmon to get it ready for the stuffing. So that's looking pretty good. Now I've got four big, thick salmon fillets. You want to make sure to get the stuff from the center, not the skinny end pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the skin on because it's so much easier to pop it off right after it cooks. And I need to get a nice sharp knife to cut through my salmon and make a little pocket. Fortunately, they're right in front of me. So I just want to take my knife and I want to start about a quarter inch back from the side of one end. I want to make a nice slit going not to the bottom, but maybe give it a quarter inch at the bottom. Cut all the way through almost to the other end. And then you're going to have a little pocket. And it looks like you're not going to get very much stuffing in there, but trust me, you'll be able to fit all sorts of it in there. And you can mound it up over the top. So let's give it a try. All right. So I've got my stuffing all mixed together over here. Again, that was just mushrooms, bacon, and cream cheese. Easy peasy. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little scoop of that and stuff it right in to my salmon filet. And you can push 
push it down and you see that the slit just opens up nice and wide to allow that stuffing to go right on in there. This is gonna make it so moist and so good. And you can certainly feel free to go ahead and mound it up a little bit. Now my fillets tonight are a little bit short. You could get a, certainly a much longer one that would give you more room for stuffing, but this is gonna be fine. because so we'll just mound it up over the top a little bit. All right, so that is looking good. And then I'm gonna hit it up with just a little bit of salt and pepper, just around the outsides because there's plenty of seasoning right in the stuffing. And now just to make sure that my topping sticks to one more little step, I've got a couple more tablespoons of my Philly chive and onion cream cheese, and I popped them in the microwave for about 15 seconds just to get it really nice and soft. And to that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now this is gonna add a little bit of tang, which will be really nice with all the savory richness of the cream cheese filling and the mushrooms and the salmon. And then I just wanna take that, whisk it together, and brush a little bit of that on top of the salmon. So that is gonna give us a little bit of stickiness for the breadcrumbs. So just brush a little bit of that on. And go ahead and put our breadcrumb topping on. So I'm just gonna mound that on there. It can spill all over the place, that's okay. And press it on really, really good. And then I am going to take it and put that along with the other three that I'm gonna do in just a sec onto a baking sheet and pop that into a nice hot oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the salmon is cooked through and the crust is a little bit brown and crisp. And that will be it. So I will meet you back here in a few. Oh my goodness, it smells like a restaurant in here. My friends are gonna love my sensational stuffed salmon. My six-year-old, mm, she gets pizza tonight. I mean, it is her special day after all. But you are gonna love my sensational salmon as well. So give it a whirl and I'll see you soon.